my family, my dad was an over the road truck driver. And so I didn't even know that my dad owned a gun until after he passed away actually. And um, I knew he had a bow and arrow that he pulled out to shoot, you know, just for sport every once in a while. But my dad never hunted and my mom, you know, wasn't really um, into hunting or anything like that. But so yeah, I'm kind of all new to it. I didn't really start hunting until really I met my husband. And that's kind of the first time I really shot a gun actually. <laughs> Well, you know, before I met my husband, I'd been hanging around, you know, country people, you know, my whole life. So hunting and, and agriculture just really was with, was ingrained into me. And those are the kind of people that I want to be around because they're the people that really get it. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Fusion game calls from Cherokee Sports. Two calls fused together. Only one call to carry. One call changes it all. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. Just being around, having that extended family and having that presence of hunters around in my family, you know, kind of teaches a person something about, you know, respect and integrity and your character building. Although I might not understand really deeply, hunting's been a part of their life, like a huge part of their life. It's like, you don't know what else to do. Hey, we're going hunting this weekend. Well, we got to go grocery shop. We can do that later. <laughs> we got to go hunt. Those are the kind of people that I want to be around because they're the people that really get it. That they, they get, you know, the hardworking, they don't take things for granted, they understand where their food comes from, truly. I'd only been out one other time and we were calling for turkeys but n didn't actually even see any didn't even hear any you know so i didn't really get immersed in into it that time very well but um but this morning it was for real and you know there was turkeys oh my gosh there were so many of them it sounded like that you know there was seven or eight of them around that they were calling from all different directions and like i said i've not even actually heard a wild turkey call for real i've heard it on tv but not you know in real life and hearing all these other birds around and stuff and and then you know to see them through the grass off in the distance it's like whoa they're really coming in you know and it started getting real and my heart starts pounding real real fast
Holy <laughs> crap! My heart's beating out my chest. He's gonna go away. No, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh. oh my I wish. <laughs> I was really hoping when I saw him, or when they came in here, I was really hoping one of them would thunder. But I'm kind of glad he didn't, because I think she'd have come out of that chair. <laughs> she would have shot. <laughs> Premature shotulation. <laughs> Hey, uh, okay. that's your first bird, ain't That's it? my first bird. <laughs> what do you think about this turkey hunting? Oh, man. It's kind of nerve-wracking. It is. <laughs> it, it, my lips are shaking. Can you see me? Awesome. One more big bug. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, girl. Golly, you smoked them, too. You know, I have tried it, and I've killed my first turkey, and I'm so excited about it. You know, I'm getting immersed into a hunting culture that's just really diverse, and there's so many different things to learn about it. You know, I just really, you know, think that it can help me open up to, you know, different types of hunting for um, different animals and just even looking at at life and nature in a whole different perspective. And so, yeah, just the excitement of getting to go hunting and stuff. I think I'm, I think I'm pretty hooked on it and going to keep going. I'm Nikki Markham, and I am now a blood sister. Blood Brothers TV. We'll be right back.